Hello everybody, I just want to do a quick video on how I installed my uh, so-called cheap eBay gimbal mount for my GoPro camera uh, on my Blade 350QX quadcopter. Um, as everybody knows out there, there's a bunch of these um, cheap uh, eBay uh, gimbal mounts for sale, and they're you know, under $100. This one's the black one, most of them are in silver, but they're the same thing, it's aluminum. Um, here it is on, the, on my Blade, it's powered up. You can see it's uh, nicely stabilized. You can actually, I don't, can't go quite as far. That's still a pretty good angle for it hits there, but um, you know, I'm real happy with it. I've only flown it a few times, but uh, obviously it's a vast improvement over the, uh, you know, the factory little anti-jello mount. Um, but it's, uh, I'm very happy with it. The uh, it's considerably smoother than I expected it to be. But I want to be able to hit this thing on and off my quad really easily and quickly so I can fly the quad obviously without it and I wanted a quick disconnect type of amount so um, I threw around a couple of different ideas saw quite a few good ones online and so forth but this is the one that I kind of rolled up on my own and I did it using some of the quick uh, mount shoes that come with GoPro or you can buy them in accessories uh, there's a shoe this is the small shoe that comes with GoPro um, and then there's a bigger one that has the same quick release but it has a taller arm on it and it, and it unbolts and you can see there's three bolts there and that's where I unbolted this one so I figured I'd use that shoe and of course you have these bottom shoes, they have the, this is the flat shoe and you can, it sticks on with you know, three on double sided tape well obviously I didn't trust that with uh, you know four or five hundred dollars worth of hardware hanging from it but when I bought the GoPro, it came in that clear plastic box, and I had a black plastic square bottom that had this shoe molded in the bottom. So I saved that, figured I'd use it for something, um, and I actually ended up doing it. And I used it to bolt on the bottom of my quad. So here's how I did it. Uh, you can see uh, I've got the power cord here. I ran it through the... Oh, I guess I better... Maybe I'll unplug it first here. Um... I got the tall landing gear, luckily. They're very hard to get. Everybody was on back ordered. Um, this is the sec, the stock factory gear, and this is the tall gear, so you can see that it's quite a bit taller. And it gives you plenty of ground clearance under the uh, under the gimbal mount with this quick disconnect system. So, anyways, I ran the wire through the bottom of the, the hull. There is a recess area here in the gear for wire, so it worked perfect, so I utilized that. Ran it up into the body, and I use a uh, balance plug to plug in and get the power from the balance port on the battery. Works great. To take it on and off, I just squeeze the quick release here, which is going to be hard with my finger, by the way. Use the right tool for the job, not the wrong one. Cut myself with my pocket knife, trying to use it as a pry bar. Anyway, so come in here so I can do it easily. Here we go, pop it. It slides back, and it's off. There it is. Completely off. Easy. Set that aside for a second. Here's that piece that I said came from the bottom of the GoPro box that I cut down this plastic piece, made it to fit this recessed or raised portion of how you look at it. Bolted it on. I just through bolted it. Five millimeter bolts, bolts probably overkill. Everybody's seen inside of these things, so you don't need to see that, but there's there's area there. It's um, there's nothing really there. I was able to reach in and use a uh, ball type Allen uh, key to uh, hold the uh, uh, the bolts and tighten it up so I didn't have to take the whole thing apart. So there's the quad with the tall gear and the mount on the quad. That was it. Real simple. Drilled two holes in the quad. That was it. And mounted the tall landing gear. Um, just to give you an idea, the quad with the battery weighs. 700, I didn't see that, 744 grams. The gimbal mount with the GoPro with the battery in it. And I got a battery cover on there, but actually right at 300 grams. So flying weight of uh, 1,040 grams uh, is the flying weight. Uh, it's reduced my flying time down to about six minutes from eight to ten minutes with the stock battery. Anyways, how I mounted the uh, quick mount to the top of the uh, cheap eBay gimbal mount was actually simple. 
well, simple for me because I'm fortunate to have a, uh, a 3D printer that I built, but here is the top plate that comes with it. It's just an aluminum plate, has three holes in it. They really don't line up anywhere it's on the bottom of the Blade 350. These might be holes that line up with something on the bottom of the Phantom. I don't know, don't have a Phantom. My neighbor has a Phantom, maybe I'll find out. <clears throat> I needed to replicate these three rectangular raised uh, mounting areas so I could use the GoPro shoe. So I ended up making a new top plate out of uh, ABS plastic. You can see the raised I'm not sure how it's filming with the black, but you can see the raised little rectangular areas I made. So I could bolt on that GoPro uh, shoe. Um, this one's not a bolt-on type, but I bolted on there with three screws. Here it is on top. I think they're 3mm screws, uh, M3s, 20mm long. And you can see uh, I used you know lock nuts down in there. There's plenty of room between it and the PC board. Uh, I didn't want to use the uh, uh, GoPro uses a uh, some self-tapping screws in here. Obviously, I didn't trust that with this much weight hanging on it. But as you can see, it's very solid. Um, you know, there's uh, a lot of flex in here, obviously, from the rubber isolator. So um, I, I trust it quite a bit. I still run some zip ties just in case these isolators pop out, so you don't lose your camera. But um, I'm pretty happy with it. Another thing is this GoPro. It's just holding this Velcro strap. It's just sitting on this metal, metal plate, and it can twist around. I didn't really like that. Um, so what I did is I had some leftover toolbox uh, anti-slip uh, matting. I just cut out a little strip of that and laid it underneath here under the GoPro, so uh, it stays in there better. And uh, that's pretty much it, how I did it. And then I'll just show you how easy it is to put it on. Just uh, see the quick release here. I slide it in from the back so I had an easier room to get my fingers in the front so I could release it, get it off. There it is, it's installed. Just plug it in. Um, I already had a ring so I could go through all that. I wasn't put a switch on there, but there was no point. Um, I'm very happy with it. Um, there it is. Um, I'll probably be 3D printing more of these, and anybody that wants to buy them can send me a message. Um, I may even put a little something on eBay. Uh, so anybody else there, out there that wants to do the same thing, um, they'd be, I'm not sure how much they'll be. You have to figure out how much plastic, how much time they take to print, but it'll be relatively inexpensive and uh, pretty easy to install on, on your blade if you want to do it. I may also put the design up on Thingiverse too. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Have fun with your blade and the cheap eBay gimbal mount.